In this video, we've introduced the Glock knives already. This video, we wanted to introduce this one, which is kind of, I think, a precursor to the Glock knife. It's an AES, made in Solingen, West Germany. And I've had this knife since mid-80s, maybe early 80s. It was a gift as I was, when I was a kid. And uh, great knife. It's uh, definitely a military-style knife. There's not a lot to it. No fancy doodads or gizmos. Real strong handle hilt and a blade. This one's carbon steel. You can tell there's a light layer of rust on it even though I try to maintain it. Just uh, the water coolers here in Arizona uh, that we use for cooling the homes just really take a take their uh, toll on metal like this. But uh, you can see I probably stuck it through a wall or something. It's got some drywall or something on the end. Real strong knife can do a lot and here's the Glock knife. I'm going to compare it with this black Glock knife very 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 similar in fact there's hardly any differences at all just a few minor ones but you can see that these are very similar knives so I'm guessing these are made for some military contract or to some military specification even the grinds are very close big difference in the knives themselves is on the uh, hilts the Glock knives sweep forward and the AES sweeps backwards other than that, there's a Glock symbol on the handle here. There's nothing on the AES, and there's nothing on the handle of a Glock knife, but it says AES West Germany on the on its handle. Uh, the Glock knives have a black finish, and these have nothing. If we take a look at the sheaths, the Glocks fit in with this sort of almost a two-handed, kind of a difficult to uh, open for a lot of people. Um, snap-in retainment system where on the AES there's a dimple on either side of the handle and a little nub here that just barely sticks up so once your knife is in there that's that little friction there the pressure from the back of the frog or whatever you want to call this belt loop area pushing that way is all that keeps the knife in and again I've had this knife for well over 20 years now and never had any trouble. I can't say I use this knife a lot, but I did use it more when I was a kid and no troubles. Just to check it out, the AES will fit into a Glock sheath, but it won't stay in because there's not a place for this snap to click. And the Glock knife will fit into the AES, but because there's no dimple, it pushes the belt loop frog thing out of the way. But in a pinch, it looks like the Glock knife would definitely work in this one. Aside from the retention system, the Glock sheath is all one piece and it has a split loop here, which makes it kind of nice. So if you already have a utility belt on or something, you can slip this on and then it kind of twists to the side to lock into place. Where the AES is a two piece, it was, you could tell it was snapped into here. It'll never come out. It's fairly rigid and it's an enclosed loop with the hole at the top. So almost the same again these could have been made for a similar military contract but um, the Glock one is rigid but it's made out of a flexible uh, polymer. The AES is only rigid where the design offers a weak point. It's very very rigid plastic. Um, I suspect that it would snap well before a Glock one would. Um, there's a hole at the bottom of both. The Glock has a larger square hole. This one has a smaller round hole. And as far as like a leg lanyard or whatever, you've got a retention strap or something. Here is a lump on the side of the behind the Glock sheath. Where on the AES, it's just a hole straight through. So there's basically nothing stopping it from going. You, know, you could run a cord any way you wanted through these three holes down here. So anyway, that's uh, very similar to a Glock knife, the AES. And I didn't get much information on the web. Um, if anybody wants to find more information about it or anybody knows some information about it, feel free to let us know. Definitely curious about it. For many years, I just assumed it was a Glock knife. I never realized that there was some minor differences. And then once I started looking, I noticed that it's made by AES.